I'm going to model the famous face on Mars using Google Earth, Civil 3D, and 3D Max. First thing I want to do is find it on Google Earth. Once I've located it, then I can switch back to AutoCAD Civil 3D and go to my insert in Google Earth and image and surface. Now, as far as my settings go, everything I don't have any other coordinate system set up it's all generic because you know it is the Mars and I'm not really surveying it so when it says insertion when I'm just enter 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 it's zero comma zero not worried about that now the contours kind of here look a little grayish and I want to right button click on those and go to surface properties and change that to where I can look at them a little better and I'm going to change the contour interval to something like 50 and that looks that looks better. And if I want to look at this and drape it over on top, I can take click onto the surface and it'll bring up the ribbon and hit drape image and it should the image from Google will be in there and then the surface will be selected and I hit OK. If I actually want to take a look at this in 3D, then I can go to my views and maybe southeast. And the actual view is going to be on the surface, so this right here I can go out in actually hide that for just a minute and then we want to take a look at the realistic view click on that and there there's the actual face again it kind of looks like to me maybe more like a, a mountain or maybe a, maybe it was like a landfill or something like that I don't know that it was actually a face but you do kind of see some eyes and you can look at this it's kind of neat that you can do this really quick in Civil 3D now if I want to go back to plan and type in plan go by plan view and I want to export this out if I want to put it in 3DX and I want to take it to an actual format that's really old so I'll export it to 2000 and what that should do is <clears throat> take the contours and explode them and put them into a 3D polyline. And then I'll be able to import that into 3D Max. If I can find my directory here. Now if I switch over to the 3D Max, I should be able to import that under a DWG type file. We'll open and import that, generate coordinates, layers, that all looks good. There's my contours, so everything looks fine. And there, there's my 3D polylines, and that's really all that I need to do a, a train. And then I'll select all those. and. We can go up here and create a AEC object train, and there's my train. Now, if I want to put the actual map on there, instead of using the one in Civil 3D, if I still got my Google open and I did not move any of the coordinates because I want to use the exact same picture, which will match my exact same shape as my contour map that came from here. If you mess that up, remove or zoom in or out, it won't work like this. You have to leave that exactly the same. So I'm going to file and save as save this image and we'll just save it right there as 2000 that's fine and then I can click back here and if I want to kind of put that on top there I can actually go click on a brand new selection in materials editors and I'll go down to the blend basic parameters and I'll hit diffuse in the middle here and this is what I use in a bitmap and I'll hit, click on the 2000 and this will come up once I get in here you have texture and on my mapping channel I want to go down to the planner uh, uh, object XYZ because I want this to actually map to this and then I'll just drag this over here and I'm going to put it on train and I've got everything selected uh, so, you 
it's going to hit OK. That's what it asked me that question there. But that's OK. Now I can do a quick render to make sure that looks right or at least close. And it certainly does. That really looks good. About as good as you can get it in a few minutes and going to the moon. And you can actually come in here and um, we can kind of move around, take different view shots of it to see you know where's the face at on this thing. And it kind of does look like uh, a strange object. In, in fact, uh, I don't know that it's actually intended to be a, a face or not, but I mean these things are kind of neat and fun to play with and once you get a model in here, you know, you can actually put some, you know, maybe put some uh, space vehicles and do some animations and renderings and create your little city or something here, a little movie. So these things are kind of neat. So with that, um, that's a pretty <clears throat> good little project of the faces on Mars or face on Mars using the Google Earth and Civil 3D and 3D Max. It's a good deal.